There are those who would say that your prognosis for Western society and for the advancement of civilization more generally is, is too negative. Well, I hope they're right. <laughs> I, really I really hope they're right. Well, um, they, they but, I probably... think, but I actually think they're wrong. I, I, I'm afraid it's very it's 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 even worse. Than it looks. Well, let me let me uh, just run this by idea by you. There are those I, I've run across you know, highly intelligent people in Australia who would agree with your analysis, but say, hang on, let's not un overlook the possibility and the importance of trying to do what the if you like the monasteries did in the middle. Oh, the Benedict's option. Yeah. Rather, well, rather. not only that, keeping alive the learning the commitment to freedom, the sort of concepts that have undergirded our way of life uh, and trying to make certain... But how do you do that? Well, that's that's the question. Are there ways, you know, they're starting uh, new institutions, they're fighting the decay, which you've been doing and you've become, I think, if you don't mind me saying so at times, uh, you get a bit frustrated that people won't listen, but people are trying it. They want to have a go. Well, good luck to them. I'm not against people trying. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to say I think they will fail, but I, at the moment it looks pretty dark to me. And one of the worst things about it is the lack of alarm. Yeah, I, I find that in Australia today, the lack of urgency to address some of these issues is deeply concerning. But Peter, again, I've thoroughly enjoyed our interaction, uh, your sparkling mind and engagement. And what comes through in the end, I'm going to say this, is a deep sense of humanity. You might feel at times you're pushing back against people who you disagree with, but actually what comes through, Peter, is a deep sense of concern that people might enjoy freedom and respect and dignity. And I salute you for that. Well, it's nice you say so, but I'm, I'm really hoping, hoping to transmit uh, the Christian religion in which I profoundly believe. The dangerous idea. The dangerous idea, the most dangerous idea of all. For the reasons that it that it transforms us. well no that it transforms us if it, if if we know that this is an, an ordered purposeful universe whose aim is justice then both we have something to hope for and we also have a duty a very strong duty to seek it in a famous moment in the closing session of a dangerous ideas festival in Australia you said. Uh, you were asked, why is it dangerous? And I think you said something, because people will then pursue justice and yeah, mercy and hope. And I thought that was uh, one of the most uh, unbelievable rejoinders I've ever heard. Well, so, it's, can I just say the whole thing was a total surprise to me. I only discovered about eight hours before that I was going to be on the program. And then the, that particular question came out of the blue as well. So I don't know how that happened, really.